Welcome back guys. Today we are working on a 2018 uh, Subaru WRX. We're actually doing a vinyl roof wrap right up here. We're going to do gloss black uh, 3M. Uh, it used to be 1080 but 1080 was discontinued. Now it's 2080. Um, as you can see here it is right here. Very nice. I like the whole front end of it. it looks mad clean. Uh, so we're going to start off with a wash. When I wash off the roof, take off uh, the running rain runner boards, whatever they're called, the the shark fin in the back, and then we'll bring it inside to uh, start the wrap. So uh, let me get everything done to start washing it, and then we'll go from there. Take this out right here, and take this running uh, trim right out. You're gonna get a plastic clip tool, any type of pick, stick it in here, and it pops this one out and then you can just kind of pry you can keep these in they just go right on top underneath it it's preference if you want to keep it in or not they kind of just slide right out and then they slide into place um, I'm just gonna personally probably just leave them in here actually I'll probably just take them out but uh, it's really not that hard so we're just gonna do the other side and then I'll show you how to take this one off the shark fin off and then uh, we'll start washing so guys um, so it's washed. I just got the the shark fin off antenna, whatever you want to call it. I got it off. I uh, did basically get it off like easily. Uh, there's there's clips right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me change the brightness in here. You can probably see it now. Right here, there's a clip. There's a clip here and a clip here. Um, it doesn't really pull it down that much. I suggest you uh, pulling the side panels a little bit. And then I grabbed both sides, pulled them out, and actually took out the oh shit handle. I took that out, and it came down very nicely. To hold the antenna in place is this uh, bolt right here. It's a 22. Uh, I put it on a wrench, got the wrench and put it on, and just broke it loose, and then it uh, goes right in. Uh, then there's one push connector in there you take out, and then it kind of just like, it pops right out. You gotta just wiggle it a little bit and it'll come right out no problem. Um, but I kind of grabbed this now because I didn't know how much play. Um, so with the headliner being down, uh, you want to take like the rubber uh, seal off the headliner so you don't create uh, create uh, like wrinkles in the headliner. Uh, personally, it doesn't look on, good on your car. And also if you're doing it for someone else, you want to put a wrinkles in it and give it back to them. And then being upset, so it's always good to it's always good to take more off than normally, um, in my opinion, so you don't break anything or anything like that. Um, so what we're gonna do next is God damn it, brightness in this thing. Sorry. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, clay bar it, make it all nice and smooth. Then we're gonna get uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. We're gonna use 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, Put your squeegee in here with a microfiber towel and get all the dirt and grime out. Then wipe one more time down and then basically start wrapping. So let's do this. I'm going to go do this and then I'll bring you guys right back. So guys, we uh, have gotten a clade. We isopropyl alcohol did all the crevices and everything. Um, we actually just laid the vinyl right here. It's not, the backing paper's not off. I just wanted to, I ordered a, a good amount for him. Um, but it's all on. Uh, the backing paper is still on, as you can see right here. It's still on. I'm just doing to see where it is all good so I could start peeling it. I had a bunch of leftover right here, so I cut it off so I can use it for the antenna. Um, it's always good. So basically what vinyl is, it comes five feet uh, in length. Oh, uh, no, width. It comes five feet in width, so it always measured just from front to back. So from the front of the windshield to the rear of the windshield, you always want to give like an extra like four to five inches on each side so you can uh, st uh, stick it into the, the weather ceiling. Um, so you don't have to measure from pat like the width of the car because it already comes five feet and it's, see like this is five feet here. Like this vinyl right here is five feet. So you got plenty on, on both sides to uh, play with. Um, so, things you're gonna need, obviously a squeegee, get like a good buffer, like right now, I have, uh, it's called monkey strips. 
I also have another one, I forgot the name of it, but uh, got a good squeegee. Uh, you can get it from uh, MetroRestyling.com. That's where I get all the vinyl and all the supplies that I have that I use. Even the, the magnets right here, these things are great. I have them both here and it comes with a set of six. So you can basically just take it off the panel, position it, put it back on, not going anywhere. So it's good to lay out the vinyl afterwards. Um, also like, you can just use like simple things, just use a squeegee. Uh, I would use uh, soapy water when it comes to uh, gloss because the buffer can actually create tiny little scratches in the vinyl. So you want the buffer to basically smooth across the panel as much as possible. So that's why I always it's always good to use soap and uh, water to get the vinyl good. So I think what I'm going to do for you guys is basically put you on uh, the toolbox and do a time lapse of everything. Uh, if I see like little things on uh, how to like stuff vinyl into certain places, then uh, I'll take it off time lapse and show you. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna put you on the toolbox and let's get right onto it. So this is basically called glassing. Uh, there's some wrinkles right here, but that's I'm really not worried about it. My main focus is the middle. So right now it actually looks like it is laid, but actually in reality it is not laid. It's basically just called glassed out. Glassed out is basically you're getting the vinyl in a position basically once I spray some water right on here, uh, squeeze it all out right to the corners and stuff so it lays perfectly flat. This uh, uh, helps me in the sense of um, Basically not really fighting with the vinyl to kind of get all the wrinkle, chase all the wrinkles out. Um, this is just an easier way for basically anyone that is vinyl, vinyling to get the vinyl down as easy and fast as possible. So glassing is always good. So you want to use the triangle method. Uh, tack it down here. I always put a magnets down here just, just in case if I do pick it back up again, it doesn't pull this piece. So if I'm pulling from this side, right? and I pull it up and I pull too hard, it could affect this side and pull the vinyl right up so the magnet actually holds it in place. I definitely recommend getting a, a magnet. Uh, you can basically get any type of magnet, but I just got those. Uh, but yeah, this is a glassed out so far. Uh, I'm gonna start squeegeeing it, put you guys back on time lapse, and then we'll get on right onto it. So guys, we have everything laid as of right here. Um, this is all cut out on both sides. This one is laid down perfectly uh, flat. This is all tucked away right in here. Behind even, uh, I think this is for if you would run a roof rack right here. Uh, this is all tucked in here. It's tucked behind the seal right here, all the way across. Now we just gotta do it on the following side. Um, but basically how I do it is I get it up to the seal. I find the seal right here. I'll find the seal and then cut it right about towards the middle so I have a guide so it's very easy. Just cut it right down the middle. Then you basically gonna pull up this flap and tuck everything in. But I'll show you that in a second once I get this cut out. So guys, like I said before, I just kind of pull up this flap right here. I get my squeegee. I put it right in and then see how the vinyl is kind of like right over the like little window sill right here but like the fucking windshield sill seal whatever you want to call it I'll basically p push it I'll pull the vinyl back a bit and then it's kind of hard to do it one hand but you can get another squeegee or you can get one of these tools right here uh, you can buy it from the website like before and you kind of just tuck it right in underneath the seal so I'm gonna finish this all off and then 
We'll go do the other side. We'll put this part all back together, cut out the antenna hole, and then wrap the antenna wherever I put it, and then I'll show you that process. So guys, um, I actually thought my camera was recording. It actually wasn't. So I'll just go through what I did. Um, so you see this body line right here? I put knifeless tape on this. I uh, laid this piece first right here so I can make a seam going over it and then this one is one whole piece right here that goes around and I put it on top of this if I did it the opposite way around you would actually see that seam right there uh, with black it's kinda hard to see so this is all done um, for the excess I kinda whoopsie uh, for the excess I just peeled back the the rubber piece right here and stuck the vinyl underneath there's three little uh, uh, Phillips head screws to take that off of um, to stick it in there and uh, so we're gonna put the screws back on cut the hole at the top make sure thing everything is good and then uh, go make it uh, go look outside and see what it looks like so guys as you can see here it is right here it looks a lot more sleek in my opinion it's a lot better than the white roof but here it is right here and just shined it up a little bit there's the antenna very nice looking car um, but that'll be pretty much it for this video so guys do me a solid like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.